A very pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother, Eric Braxton, speaking to you all from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, the land of my nativity, the land of my birth, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country. Of course, that is in the blue Caribbean Sea. In this part one video, where I'm speaking to you all from the month of, in the month of August 2018. In this part one video, a new series where I'm reading from a new book, Brothers and Sisters. Who are you really? Once again, who are you really? Do you personally really know who you are? Do you know your actual ancestry, your family, background, and other information may have an enormous impact on the way your the way you function, the way you function, the type of talents, strength, power you are likely to possess, and on your and on your real future. Most of us take out our old family photograph once in a while to see what our grandparents or great-grandparents look like. We may look at information in an old family Bible that lists some of our ancestors. We probably know that we are descendants from English or Welsh ancestors or from Italian or Yoruba, Yoruba or, wed, or, what's, or, wed, or wheresoever we may think to ourselves this is all sorts of interesting but does it really matter does it have anything to do with my daily life my career my future emphatically yes emphatically yes it certainly do does the current approach of sociologists and historians which usually change change every generation emphasis that our ancestry make virtually no difference in who we are and the current emphasis on political correctness can make it difficult to discuss openly some matters that were often taken for granted a generation ago and are often oblivious as the noise on your face the nose on your face but most of us who have experienced life for a number of decades yes certainly know better if we are willing to acknowledge that the holy bible really is the inspired word of god <coughs> Then we can begin to understand all kinds of information that this confused world is uncertain about or simple dead wrong about. One obvious example should be to consider objectively, objectively the tendencies and strength of the Jewish people instead of trying to blame them for Christ's death or come up with some Jewish conspiracy conspiracy theories and you know the world of today is full of conspiracy theories oh yes my dear friend you better believe it full of conspiracy theories to try to identify them the Jews with some great evil movement. What does the Bible clearly indicate? <laughs> that the descendants of Judah, the house of Judah, should be like. And are they in fact clearly reflecting the strength, the power? An example shown by Judah and his descendants as revealed in God inspired words. 
And of course, brothers and sisters, when we look in all the books of the late Herbert W. Armstrong, he expounds greatly about the ten lost tribes of Israel, the house of Judah, the, which is in Jerusalem today. The house of Judah, the Jews in Tel Aviv, in Israel. They are the house of Judah consists of three Jews, three tribes. They are the southern kingdom, Judah, Levi, and Benjamin. And what about the ten lost tribes who is outside of Palestine, who went into captivity before the house of Judah? Herbert W. Armstrong, my dear brother, deceased, have teach over 40 years about the Ten Lost Tribes. And of course, my late also brother, Dr. Gene Scott, who described Herbert W. Armstrong as a true apostle. Both of them were true apostles, but this, on the context of Herbert, um, Dr. Gene Scott, he misunderstood a lot of, he, mis he had a lot of misinterpretation of certain teachings in the scriptures, which Herbert W. Armstrong had it right. But in any case, in spite of that, all that, brothers and sisters, I just want you to know that the late Dr. Gene Scott have taught great, have teach greatly about the ten lost tribes of Israel. Yes, my dear friends. So I cannot let them out. They are included in the teaching of the, the ten lost tribes of Israel and the, death, the identification of the ten lost tribes of Israel in modern times. And are they in fact clearly reflecting the strength and emphasis examples shown by Judah and his descendants as revealed in God inspire words? Of course they are. Most genuine Bible students know that names are important to God. The names people, the names people and things, what they are. For instance, in the beginning, in for instance, in the beginning, Satan, Satan was named Lucifer. You see, was Lucifer the son of the morning? God created him, the son of the morning, and named him Lucifer. That time he was known as Satan, the devil. Lucifer or light bearer, yes, son of the morning, which is the next term between light bearer, Lucifer, the light bearer. Then he rebelled, Lucifer rebelled, the light bearer, he rebelled, and his name would change to adversary, which means he's the chief adversary against God, to Satan, the devil, the old serpent, the wicked one, prince of darkness, all these things, the great red, the great dragon, the old serpent, the royal lion, all these names are mentioned in the Bible, after he get when he rebelled against God. But when he was obedient to God, did he add all these names? Of course not. What was the name that God gave him, that wonderful name? Lucifer. Of course it is a wonderful name, Lucifer. So you think God gave him a bad name? You think Lucifer mean a bad name? Of course not. It's a beautiful name that God, him, God gave him. The other names, like devil and all these things, of course, that is bad. These, there's nothing beautiful or none of these names that he got after. Like like adversary, the enemy, the old serpent. There's nothing beautiful about that. But of course, when God named him Lucifer, oh yes, a beautiful and noble name that God placed upon him. How wonderful on the part of the Holy One of Israel to do that. Not only to Lucifer, but to Michael and Gabriel and the rest. Hats off to the Holy One of Israel. Bravo, bravo on his part. I mean God the Father and Jesus Christ. Hats off to them. Bravo, bravo on their part. Are you all hearing what this little Christian boy are telling you all? No. <clears throat> Light bearer. Then he, Lucifer, rebelled and his name was changed to adversary. So, what does Judah mean, brother? What does the tribe of Judah mean? What does Judah mean? Mm -hmm. We will come to that. Because I look at the time, I see my uh, nine minutes up, so it's only one minute to make it a ten minute. Because you know, my videos are only ten minutes short, so we will be dealing that in part two, brothers and sisters. So, brothers and sisters, I just want to say that Lucifer, his name was Light Bearer, God named him Lucifer, Light Bearer, behind the light of God. He was behind the light of God, he was behind the truth of God to the other angels. He was teaching them the light of God, the truth of God, and all these things, many aspects to that. To that name that God gave him, Light Bearer. I am only, I am only dealing, if, dealing with a little fraction of the meaning of that word, you know, Light Bearer, you know. There are many things in, in, in grain and in tails in that, you know. 
And we are only dealing with a little portion of it, my dear friends, brothers and sisters. We are only dealing with a little portion of it, my dear friends. But wrapped up in that word, Lucifer, and that office that they give him, Liberia, that go with his name. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of things wrapped up in that. Brothers and sisters, you all better believe what this little Christian boy are teaching you all. In any case, keep in mind, I have much to comment on that in future and to teach you all concerning that. Brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ, well, I've come to the end of this part one video. May the grace of God. And don't forget to give all your life to Jesus Christ when you all watch this video and study these videos. These videos are not for entertainment purpose. So if you all believe my videos, it says for entertainment to sit down on a Sunday when you all are not doing and watch my videos and criticize it and get kicks of it. If any of you all have that attitude, you all better put it in the garbage bin, the dumpster where it belongs. My my teachings well not my teaching the the teaching that i'm giving you by god is using me and his two sons the teaching is of, of spiritual edification these teachings is a recognize that you all are a sinner you all need to repent accept jesus christ and began proclaiming the kingdom of god and living that life that he want each and every one of us to live what he created for so for his purpose to be fulfilling us so these videos is not of enter for entertainment purpose Right? I will keep on reminding you all that as the time go along, one step ahead as the time go along, brothers and sisters in Christ. So brothers and sisters, I've come to the end of this video. Now may the grace of God be with you and with me and with the human family from this day forth and forevermore. Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye bye, my friends.